and we'll get going. So you just come to find yourself somewhere to stand um, on your mat and let's get warm, let's get moving. So we're going to open up through those shoulders to begin with. So just stand in with your feet hip distance apart, arms relaxed down by your side to begin with, but we're just going to do a nice big roll through the shoulders, up, round, back and down. And then you're going to take one arm up over to the top and take that same leg and just tap out to the side. So a nice long line down the centre of your body, push back up to stand, roll those shoulders again and repeat that on the opposite side. So it's kind of like a mermaid stretch, leg out to the side, stretch through the side of the body and come back up. Roll through and then stretch. And you'll notice that that standing leg is just bending. So just warming that leg up into a bit of a squat. Try if you can to keep your knees pointing forwards. Don't let that knee drop in. Don't worry too much though. Let's just get moving to begin with. And then remember those shoulders, we're going to melt them down and away from those ears. So try and have a little gap between the side of your neck and the top of your arm. Keep it going. Roll and stretch. And then see if you can start to stretch your foot a little bit further away from you, go a little bit deeper into that side bend, keeping your toe gently pressed down towards the floor. And as we do that, you're just going to stretch the underside of that straight leg through your groin into your adductors. You don't have to go as quick as I am, you can slow it down if you need to. But just roll and stretch. And just think about the position of your head. You're just letting your head just gently follow the line of your spine. So a little bit of a tilt through the head. We're going to hold this next one. So take it to that stretch, knee slightly bent, other leg nice and long, shoulder down, tightening your tummy, hold here, hold, then look up to the underside of that arm and look forwards. That leg should be getting nice and warm now. Can we go again? Looking up and forward. Let me come back to the center, swap sides. So up and over, shoulder down, knee in line with the toe, and then again, up and forwards. Gently tighten your tummy towards your spine, look up and look forwards. And then once more, look up and forwards. Lovely, keep your legs wide, so just take your weight back into both feet and just turn your toes towards the corners of your mat and begin just to bend down into those knees. So we're gonna go for our plie squat. So not like our normal squat, we keep our back upright with this. So imagine you're stood against a wall and you're just sliding up and down that wall. Don't go too deep to begin with. Really work to tuck underneath through your tailbone so that your spine stays nice and long. Let's see if we can get that heart rate lifted. I will soon regret wearing a woolly jumper, I'm sure. Good. Okay, so if you want to work a little bit harder, just go a bit deeper now as things warm up. And really try and send your knees towards the corners of the room as you come down. So you're really opening out into the front of the hips. Now we've already opened those adductor muscles out, so this is a nice opportunity to work them a bit harder. Keep your spine nice and upright. You've got a book balanced on the top of your head. Keep looking forwards. So we've got three more. We've got two more. Holding this next one. So take it to where you can. Now make sure your knees aren't passing over your toes. If they are, you need to just step a little bit wider. Okay? Hold here, shoulders down, and we're going to take it back into that side reach. Up and over, hold, and then look to that underside of the arm. And look forwards, over to the second side, reach up and over, shoulder down away from the ear, hold, look up, and forwards. Come back to the centre. Now if you need to, stretch those legs out, then come back down, and we're going to do some heel raises. So just up and down on those toes, lift and lower, lift and lower. If that feels like it's too much, just work on holding that squat a little while longer. I'm slipping on my mat and my feet are going further and further away from 
from each other. Keep holding, it's because I've not got the right socks on. Three, two, and one. Lovely, you can come up to stand or you can stay here. Shake those legs out if you need to, and then join back in. I'm just gonna bring my legs back in again. And then we're just gonna pulse. So imagine you're sat on a big bouncing ball and you're just bouncing up and down on that ball. Pulsing into that squat a little bit deeper. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely, come up to stand and you should feel like you need to stretch those legs out. Okay, beautiful stuff. Right then, yes, take those jumpers up. So bring your feet a little bit closer, but not completely hip distance apart. So let's bring them in a touch and have your toes pointing forwards. So we're gonna work on a hip hinge now. So I want you to imagine that you are holding two trays of drinks and you're trying to serve those trays of drinks onto a table but you're serving them over the shoulder of a guest. So you're gonna take your hips behind you and your trays of drinks come out in front and then you stand back up again. So imagine there's a wall, you're just gonna send your hips back towards the wall and come up. So you'll see my knees stay fairly straight. It can be a little bit bent, but most importantly, the movement's coming from me moving and hinging at my hips rather than bending at my back, yeah? So bottoms come back, shoulders come forwards. Tighten the tummy towards the spine as you go forwards, and you should hopefully start to feel that elongates the back of the legs, stretching into your hamstrings. Good, well done. Okay, keep going with that. I'm gonna give those of you that want to challenge your balance, a little bit more of a higher option. You're gonna take your weight onto one hand, forget your trays of drinks. This time, you're gonna to touch your fingertips down towards the floor as the back leg lifts up, and then come back up to stand. We'll do three on each side. Touch down and come back up. So when you're in that touch down position, you should be have a um, horizontal line through your body. And that means you're hinging at your hip rather than flexing at your spine. So once you've done three, swap over. You could always meet somewhere in the middle and find something just to hold on to with your opposite hand that's touching down. You don't have to come all the way down to the floor. Just work with what you can. Or if that feels like too much of a challenge, just continue to work on serving those trays of drinks over the top of your table. Good, keep it going. I'm going to do three more on each side. Well done. Hopefully nobody's gone head over heels. <laughs> Good, keep it going. Well done if you're going for that balance challenge. And don't worry if you're not, you'll build yourselves up to it. The very big pull through the back of the leg, especially if you're just on that one leg coming all the way down to the floor. Okay, I've got three more, so enjoy three more yourself. A really nice way of opening up the back of the body whilst getting some balance working. Two more. And one more. Lovely. Come back up to stand. Find yourself at the end of your mat now. And we're going to take that into a roll down. So that should have really opened up the backs of the legs to begin with. So roll down as we know what we're doing. We're going to do three in total. Nice and tall to start and then peel down through your spine. So you're trying to get those bones moving one at a time, rolling down, pausing at the bottom. Everything should feel a little bit looser. And then we stack back up to stand, trying to keep your weight over the front of your feet. And then when you get to the top, just simply go again, rolling down. To the top. Now we're going to use this next one to come into a down dog. So roll down, 
Jill, see how you feel with this because it is putting a bit of weight into your shoulders. But you roll down, just soften your knees so you can bring your hands onto the mat. And then bring your hands forwards and push back into your heels and hips. Jill, if it's too much, just hang in a forwards fold. Just let the tension release out the back of your legs. Everybody hold here. Try and look towards your feet or towards your belly button. Arch your lower back. Send your tailbone towards the ceiling. And breathe deeply for three, two, and one. Lovely. Slowly come down onto the mat, bend your knees, and then everybody just sit back towards your heels. Rest for a moment just to let your blood come out of your head and go back into your body. That's fine. And if you need to adjust your cameras, you can do so now. So we're going to move on to work into some um, plank work, shoulder work. Um, again, I'll give you an option, Jill, if this isn't great. So two levels. Level one, we're going to do our leg pull in um, prone. So we're in our box position, hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips, okay? We look down towards the mat, our shoulders are away from our ears and our tailbone is tucked underneath. We then turn the toes underneath, draw the tummy towards the spine and see if we can hover the knees off the mat without raising the bottom too much. So keep your spine nice and long, knees are lifted and then they lower down. Okay, so it could just be a simple tighten, lift and lower. Tighten lift and lower okay so there's your option one or you can lift and hold now as you lift your knees off the mat make sure your knees stay directly beneath your hips okay and that they don't come together so if you're finding that your knees are collapsing inwards then try and create a little bit of space and if that feels like it's too much of a challenge um sally you could always um, roll your mat up and go off them um, off your mat that's cushioned yet, or you can come onto your um, tummy and work to lift your pelvis off the floor. So try either of those options, see what works for you. Jill, you doing okay with that? You look great. Yeah, fab. Okay, for those of you that wanna work into a full plank, hands come forwards, lift the knees, but then extend the knees and take the shoulders over the wrists. Keep the tail tucked underneath. So you could just lift and lower, lift and lower, or you can lift and hold. Okay, keep it going. I'm gonna come see how you're doing. Although I can mainly see people's ceilings. <laughs> no, that's fine. I've got a good angle of few people. Go for it, Helen. Yes, a play. Well done. Bottom down a little bit for me. That's it. Don't want those bums too high. <laughs> Fabulous. Well done, looking strong. Lovely Elaine. That's it, shake it out, join back in. Okay, I'll give you the chance to do one more. Go on Liz, go for one more. Whichever option you wish, we hold for five, four, three, two and one. Let me sit back and give those wrists a little bit of a circle. Brilliant, okay. We're not quite finished there with the box position. We're gonna do some shoulder taps here with two options. So you're in your box position, you're working really hard to keep the tray of drinks on your lower back level, and then you're gonna reach across and tap one shoulder, come down, opposite side, shoulder tap yeah if the shoulder feels a bit too high just aim for the elbow but the main thing with this is making sure that as you reach towards the shoulder you don't twist your trunk okay so keep those um, backs of the shoulders nice and level heads lifted shoulders down tails tucked underneath so just tap from side to side sally if you're finding that's difficult on your knees You've got a space you could lean against a wall and tap without twisting. Sorry, Mum, I'm getting the, wind, the mirrors really um, smudged. 
Yeah, there's an option. I didn't see, looks good. I was in Emma, Isabel, all looking great. Oh, Lauren, hi. That's it, Liz, just keep the back of your neck long, looking down towards the floor. Okay, those of you that wanna work harder, we're gonna combine the shoulder taps with your full plank. Yeah, so you can come hands forwards, lift the knees and straighten the legs. And now see if you can tap alternate shoulders. A little bit of a tip here is just to take your feet slightly wider so that you've got a bigger base of support. Now this here is a big step up. Give it a try and if it doesn't work for you, come back to those shoulder taps in your box position or Sally, you can do them leaning against the wall. Tapping here and here. Lovely. Well done, take those rests when you need to. Very good, get tired quite quickly. Come in and out of those two options. Remember you could go for your elbow if your shoulder feels like it's a little bit too high. Beautiful, okay, we're all here for five, four, three, two, and one, super, come down onto your mat, sit back towards your heels and just rest for a moment, catch your breath. Sally, come and join us down on the mat. Okay, we're gonna take that into our thread the needle. So pass one hand under the opposite shoulder and twist through your spine. And then just quickly swap sides and breathe. Lovely, okay, back to the center. And set yourself up just to sit on your side here. So we're gonna sit in this kind of leg sweep position. So you've got your knees and feet stacked on top of one another with your knees slightly bent. You're resting your weight on one hand here. And the aim with this is to create as much space on the underside of your body. So lift your rib cage away from the floor. Nice big space through here. Same as we were working on in our warm up, we're gonna take that into our mermaid stretch. So reach up and over. And as you come up and over, you can lift your body away from the floor even more. So really push through the heel of your hands. You'll get a nice bit of shoulder work. And then from there, we're gonna take it into our thread the needle, so passing underneath your body and twisting around. Come back to the center, we come up and over. Really push away, but keep that arm from falling over onto your head, nice open shoulders, and then pass through. And now's the time just to connect back in with your breathing so that when you get to the top of that stretch, you're gonna breathe out. And when you get to the back of that twist, you're gonna breathe out and just use your breath in to transition between. Looking good, Tim, well done. There was a time, Tim, when you couldn't sit like that. So this is good. <laughs> well done, lovely. Beautiful, okay, so keep working with that flowing movement. For those of you that want to, we're gonna combine it with our side bends. So the hips come off the mat, lifting through the side of the body, and then we continue to reach over and twist through. Really good option for some, some shoulder stability work. So be really strong through the heel of your hand. Don't let your body collapse into your shoulder. Try and push the floor away from you and use the muscles in the underside of your core to help to lift your body off the mat so it's not all just on your shoulder. Okay, we're gonna do two more rounds with or without the hips lifted. You can bring those hips down if you need to. Do it back in, one more. Lovely, and twist, super. And then just come to sit on your side. You probably feel like you need to give that shoulder a little bit of a roll around. 
Okay, no rest for the wicket. Come to line your back. So we're going to come onto some tummy work now, and then we'll do the opposite side in a moment. So rest position to begin with. Lying on your back with your knees bent and your feet hip distance apart. Imagine you've got a sponge in the small of your back. You're going to keep a very gentle pressure on that sponge. So not completely flattening your back down towards the mat, but also don't lift away from the mat because we won't want that sponge to completely um, reabsorb that water. Keeping that gentle pressure on the sponge, we're going to come into scissors. So we're going to float one leg into tabletop and lower down, and then bring the other leg up. So just changing from side to side, trying to avoid too much twisting movement as you take your body, your um, weight across to the other foot. Sally, if you want to prop yourself up on some pillows to do this, that's absolutely fine. Just to raise your head ever so slightly, that might help. Okay, now for those of you that want to, we can go a bit quicker with scissors. So as one leg lifts, the other leg lowers, and we get that nice scissor transition mid-air, but keep that constant pressure of your lower back on your sponge. And remember those tabletops, they're gonna finish with your knee directly over your hip. Not here, not here. And we want those knees to be bent at 90 degrees, so no heels hanging down. Keep that movement at your hip joint. Don't let your knees or ankles change the position as you transition in and out of your scissors. Very nice. Relax those shoulders away from your ears. Make sure your hands are just gently pressed on the floor either side of you. Great work. Okay, let's keep these going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold one leg in tabletop. Let the other leg rest down. Doesn't matter which one. So you've got one leg on the mat, just with your knee bent. So, so your left leg bent. So you're like this, that's it, lovely. Okay, we're going to take this into a leg stretch now. So lengthen the foot away from you and then fold it back in again. So imagine that you're trying to switch the lights off, the light switch off with your foot. Tap it and then fold back in again. Now for those of you that want to work a little bit harder, we're going to take that foot all the way down to the floor before we fold back into tabletop. So, um, Easier option, slightly easier option, slightly harder option. Now for me, I find that my hip goes a bit clunk if I go too low, so I'm gonna go somewhere in the middle. So it's really about using that core strength to work through your hip movements. We've got six more of these. Nice and long, six. Again, thinking about that sponge as well, don't lift off that sponge as you're Leg straightens, you've got four more, well done. Three more. Two. And then you're gonna hold this next one. So set your level, either high foot or a low foot. Point your toe and imagine that your whole leg is a pencil and you're gonna try and draw small circles on the wall in front of you. Now I say small because the smaller the harder. Now your goal now is to imagine you've got a glass of something fancy on your opposite leg. So the one that's not moving, put a glass of something nice and cold on there and don't let that leg move from side to side as you circle the opposite leg. Okay, can you change direction with your circles? Make your knee as straight as you can. Squeeze your upper thigh. Don't let your back arch. Slow them down, nice and slow. Good, whole of your leg, keep your knee still, keep your ankle still. Yeah, rest if you need to. Okay, and then hug that knee towards you and build your courage up for the opposite side. Okay, so when you feel like you've stretched that leg out, place that foot on the floor and we're gonna swap over with the um, opposite leg. So the leg that was just on the floor is now gonna become your tabletop leg. And then when you're ready, begin to work through your lengthen and fold. So just starting with that long stretch, breathing out as we extend the leg. When you get to the end of that extension, really squeeze your thigh. You want to try and unlock the back of the leg. So by squeezing the front of the leg, 
we can lengthen the back of the leg. And again, remember, the lower we go, the more we're going to load up the abdominal wall. So you can at the same time do a little bit of a tummy tighten as that leg stretches away or engage your pelvic floor. I'm sure you feel like you've already got enough to think about. Okay, you've got six more. Looking good, everyone. Five more. Three more. Hey, look great, Sue. Well done. Third, we are in. Two more. And then hold your next one. So take it to where you feel like you can manage. You can hold that load. Lovely, M. Point your toe and then circle your leg. Lovely. So none of this with the ankle. It's the whole leg that moves. Tray of drinks on your waist. Take one of those drinks and put it on your bent knee. Good. Lovely, Isabel. Well done, everyone. These look good. Second side. Really nice. Okay, let's try the opposite way with those circles. As you transition to the opposite way, make sure you don't spill your drink. Good. Shoulders relaxed. Don't hold any tension through those shoulders. Gentle pressure with your hands on the mat. Three two and one lovely then you can hug your knee towards you hug your other knee as well and give yourself a little bit of a spine rock from side to side beautiful work okay we're nearly done so just bring yourself to rock light on your side and then you can swap over to the opposite side of the mat if you need to so just make sure you're doing the opposite shoulder to the first side so you're setting yourself up with your feet, hips and your spine all in line as if you're sitting against a wall and your knees and your feet are gently pressed together. And then from here, lift your body away from the mat and just start to take that reach up and over to the top. Super. Jill, are you doing okay with that or is that the sore side? Because you could take it onto your um, forearm. That might feel a little bit easier. No, okay, let's take you on to your um, four point in. Everybody else carry on, so over the top and then twisting through. Jill, if you can do um, chest opens and then threads. Oh, you look okay now. So your options are to be here, yeah, or you can give it a go. I'll leave it with you. Okay, oh, well done. Super, okay, so just remember as we come up and over, Really push away from the floor, arching through the side of the body and twisting and breathing out. Now let's go straight into that second option as we're running low on time. So you can add that hip lift if you wish. The hips can come up and then carry on working through that lovely arm sequence. Now you might find your shoulder gets a little bit tired. You could always sit out of it, do one without the hips lifted maybe. And then join back in again. I'll give you your options, but whatever you're doing, we're going to keep it going. Keep moving. Lovely. Make sure your head follows that twist round. Three more lovely flowing movements, either with or without the hips lifted. Two more. Lovely. And one more. Super. Okay, brilliant. Come down onto the side and give your shoulder a roll. I think we've got enough time to finish with what I planned. And that is eight press ups. Sally, you can do these leaning against your door if you wish. We did press ups last week. So hopefully, if you were with me, you remember what we're doing. But I'll just quickly recap. So, your options we've got your box position hands beneath the shoulders but you just and um, then you slightly sit back the elbows travel at a 45 degree angle as we lower the chest down towards the floor and we take it about halfway and we're going to work really hard not to let the bottom travel up as the knee, um, chest goes down so really keep your tail tucked underneath as you lower your body weight the second option is to bring your weight ever so slightly forwards and lower down Although I know that Kabir, you tried these as a full press last time, so if you want to, again, you can. Full press, 
and through, okay? And obviously, if you want to work a bit harder, you can just go all the way down towards the mat with your chest and push back up. And make sure you're leading with your chest and not your nose. Let's see if you can try one or two. Jill, not for you. Do you want to try them against the door? So, like this. No? Okay. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Okay, I, I've noticed some people have started, so I'm gonna count. You can just watch them smile or you can do some hundreds. Okay, seven, well done, Sue. Six, five, looking strong, Liz, well done, everyone. Four, apologies if you've done loads. Three, two, and one, great stuff. And sit back to your heels stretch your hands out in front of you amazing work with those press ups guys i might just throw those in at the end of every class actually don't piss me off i won't tell you that i'll do that otherwise you stop coming <laughs> okay just quick moment just to stretch out so heels towards and um, hips stretch along the mat and then walk your hands to one side Sally, if you want to, you can just sit and stretch from side to side. That's quite nice. Just open up the side of your body. Lovely. Everybody else, walk your hands over to the opposite side and push back into your hips. Brilliant stuff. Okay, and then one more big push back at the centre. And then you can hang out here a little while longer if you need to stretch or um, feel free to come and join me um, at your cameras.